Hero, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use save toolbars. And now, if you don't know what save toolbars are, I'm going to explain it all in today's video. So, let's get right into it. So here we are in the save toolbars bit, and if you're already really confused, that's okay. So if you're in survival, like you normally are, you can't use this. The... All the tabs that you're in creative mode are gone here. So you have to be in creative mode. You can't be in spectator. And you definitely can't be in adventure. You've got to be in creative mode. And normally, so here's all the blocks. Here's the search thing where you can search for things. But you want to click over to the bookshelf, which is the save top bars. And then if you've never used these, these will all look like this. They all have different page, all have different paper all saying different things, going all up like this. So if you've never used it before, it will be blank. But what these are, are if you've got nothing in your inventory, like me, it doesn't even matter what's in your inventory, you can come in here, and this is all things you've saved. So let's say I've got a banner that I really want to, that I really like, and I want to save it. I'll save it here, and here is my banner. So I made this banner about a year ago. I really liked it, so I saved it. So now, whenever I am, and it isn't just this world, it's any world in Minecraft at all, these save toolbars are here. So yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So, there are all those. Um, how do you save a toolbar? That's easy. So you're going to pick, so there are nine different rows of these. So you've got row one, two, three, four, five six seven eight and nine currently i've not used number nine because that's gonna be demonstration today so let's say i'm in my creative world and i've got something i really like so oh by the way this is my intro thing you would have seen that today's start of today's video but let's say i have a command block so i'm using my toolbar to demonstrate this but let's say i've got a command block that says hi now, if I get leave or anything, in chat it's going to say hi. But let's say I'm not really good at this stuff and I can't remember how I coded that. You can save this command block by a different trick, which is control, then middle click. And it comes here. Now that's there. But if you want to save this across different worlds, or let's say you accidentally, or you think you might accidentally delete it, no worries. If you want to save this for any other time, then you're going to make sure your inventory is clear or whatever you want. And then you're going to listen to whatever slot you want. So my last slot says save toolbar with I and 9. So you're going to press on your keyboard. I add 9 at the same time. Right here it says item saved toolbar slot 9. So if I come here, use that command block. So my inventory is empty. I can come here, get the command block, put it down, and it's the exact same thing. So in a real life demonstration, if I have some really, really long command, like, I don't know, let's just find something here, like this one. This command is ridiculously long, and I don't want to write this, ta I don't want to write this every single time I go anywhere. So I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to save it in my toolbar. So you go. Now it's there. And I can always just get this, put it down. There it is in all of my worlds. But that's not it. If you're wondering, where did my where did the other command go? Saying hi. But what you're going to have to do, if I want, for example, glass, redstone repeater, and a command block. But I... Also, want this command block. You put it in inventory like this. Now, I'm warning you lot. First of all, the iron nine paper thing is gone. And second of all, if you make a new toolbar, it deletes the previous one, the same number. So this is slot not. This is um, number nine on the list. So if I save this as number nine by pressing I and uh, number the number, the command block. The thing goes, so I'm just saying that now. 
And yeah, that's really all to it, except there's a few other features to it. So if you press X, if you hold down X and then your number, so number nine, you get back all the same stuff that was in that toolbar. So I've saved a toolbar here, which is not nine, it's not eight, it's seven. So number seven is all my OP armor, which is in a video of mine. So this is number seven. If I do X and seven, I get everything there. So here's all my armor and stuff. If I want this one, which is number two, which is like the things you have to do slash give for, which are really annoying to get, it's all there. So if I do X and two, there you go, I've got all my stuff now. I can place down all my important things, like structure void, which no one ever uses, which isn't even there. I don't have no use for it. But yeah, really, that's just it. So of course, there are many other things you, you do with this. So it is for saving things. So like, I've got this, because if I'm in a world and I want to name something, a creeper, I don't want to have to get an anvil to name it, get a name tag, name the thing. No, you don't have to do any of that. You just come in here and I've already got a saved one, so I can name it this. So that's what it's really for, just like the stuff you don't want to keep having to do all the time. And now he's called Boo. And we're going to kill him. Nah, he'll live there now. So yeah, that's really it to do with the save toolbars. It is a creative only thing. It does not work in survival. So if I have, I don't know, what can I have? If I have this repeater, for example, and I do I and 9, it doesn't work. Or if I do X and 9, or X with any other numbers, it doesn't work. It doesn't know how it works. And creative only. So if I go on creative, then do X and a random number, I'm do X and 5. This is what's in my X and 5. Let's make sure it's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There you go. It's right. So that's it for this video. But one more quick thing is that you probably saw an intro and this is it. Um, if you want to see a video on how actually I'll go into detail and explain this. But yeah, this is how I made my intro thing. Using this set right here. This is the barrier that falls down with the delays and a lot of command blocks I made myself. It took me over six hours. So I hope you enjoyed the intro. Yeah, that just comes through here. So if I start it up, which should already be started up, but seems to not be. You start to see the animation starts. And this is how my intro is made. So yeah, I do love this thing. But yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.